It's another job lot of 7-inch singles. Ahoy hoy everybody and welcome to another unboxing of an eBay win. Uh, the description of this was Vinyl Records 7 inch job lot 200 plus. I won it for £50, I was the only bidder, that was the starting price. £50 that included postage and packaging which is obviously heavy so that's been a decent chunk of it. But I thought for 200 singles that's 25p each and it's more than 200 anyway according to the description so we'll see. What we've got but I thought that was a fair price. Uh, final record 7 inch job lot 200 plus used various conditions but I believe all played good to very good condition. So a few photos um, showed a fair few picture sleeves so that's a good start. So what I'll do I'll do batches of 50 so it'll be four videos or so. Um, let's see what I've got. So my first batch I've counted out already. Not looked. Okay, so first up we have got Sam Brown, Kissing Gate, backed with Is It Mustard or Mango. Uh, I have Sam Brown's albums, or some of them anyway, on CD. I do like Sam Brown a lot. This is on A&M, Silver Injection label. But Kissing Gate, really good song, good start. Uh, then we have Boney M with Sunny. Backed with New York City, possibly an ex jukebox copy, given it's got the cutout missing, maybe not. Uh, on Atlantic, uh, we have the Dooleys with the Chosen Few, backed with a million to one. Uh, RSO bag, but it's on GTO. Not familiar with the song, obviously I'm aware of the Dooleys. Next we have uh, my favourites, ABBA. Uh, this is Money Money Money, backed with Crazy World. As you may have gathered, I'm not a fan of ABBA. Uh, on Epic. Uh, first picture sleeve, and we have All I Ask of You. Cliff Richard and Sarah Brightman from Phantom of the Opera, uh, backed with Phantom of the Opera Overture Act 2. I think I've got this on CD, I think it's on the Andrew Lloyd Webber 50th birthday box set I bought. I don't mind that one at all. Uh, Phil Collins You Can't Hurry Love, I do already have this from another bundle but this is in much, well, at least a sleeve is in much better condition and the vinyl looks pretty good as well so that's an upgrade. Uh, B-side on that is I Cannot Believe It's True. Uh, Greensleeves Records, oh Oh Carolina by Shaggy, uh, radio version and the Ras Bumba Clark, oh, the Ras Bumba Clark version. A track I've always liked. Uh, yep, yeah, it's going well so far. I mean, even even though I'm not a fan of ABBA, it's a decent one to get. Nothing really obscure so far. Uh, PM Dawn's written on the outside of this, but whether it is on the inside, we shall see. No, it's not. It's CNC Music Factory with gonna make you sweat everybody dance now radio mix and the master mix instrumental on the B side uh, there's a quite a big scuff on the B side but the A side looks fine but another decent dance track we have on Atlantic we have another Boney M we have Brown Girl in the Ring and Rivers of Babylon double A side well technically Rivers of Babylon was the A side but so many DJs flipped it and played Brown Girls in the Ring but it became known as a double A. I know my sister had that on 7 inch, I don't know if she still has. Uh, this is one of the ones that was pictured, the final countdown by Europe, backed with On Broken Wings. I mean it's a classic song isn't it? 
on Epic. Overplayed, yes, but still a classic. Uh, UB40 with Chrissy Hind, I got you babe, back to theme from Labour of Love. So I have this on CD on Pretenders compilation. But I'm a big fan of Chrissy, so that's nice. No label on the back, I don't know if that's usual. Probably not. Ooh, the sleeve's falling apart a bit. We have got Jan Hammer, Crockett's theme from Miami Vice. The instrumental new mix of B-side is Miami Vice New York theme. And that is on MCA. So it's very much an 80s feel to this. I think most of the ones, if not all the ones I saw pictured were 80s. Uh, Otter One, hands up, give me your heart. And an instrumental version on the B-side. I don't actually mind this song. It's cheesy, but it does remind me of my youth on Carrera or Carrera Records. Uh, what have we got here? Village People in the Navy. Back with Manhattan Woman. Again, bit of cheese, but good cheese. Uh, on the old gold label, we have Seasons in the Sun by Terry Jacks. Backed with If You Go Away. Now, Seasons in the Sun is a great track. Not familiar with If You Go Away. Uh, somebody I hate even more than I hate ABBA. This is If You Don't Know Me By Now by Simply Red. Uh, backed with Move On Out, recorded live in Manchester from A New Flame. Uh, did have a Simply Red one in a, another job lot I bought. It might even be this. I've put it in my to give away at some point pile, so that might be joining it. Uh, Ten City, That's the Way Love Is. A deep House Mix by Steve Silk Hurley. And the Underground Mix on the B side. It's ringing a faint bell. Is it from 89? I might recognise it when I hear it. Uh, Cheryl Lee Ralph in the evening, back with Ready or Not on Arista. Again, late 80s, probably. Oh no, early 84. Look. Yeah, I suppose so. Not sure, doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, Robbie Neville co wrote with A side. Uh, this is Rod Stewart, and we have Do You Think I'm Sexy back with Dirty Weekends. Not my favourite era of Rod Stewart, I much prefer early Rod Stewart to his late 70s onwards period. Might have had that in another bundle. I have had some rod. Uh, oh, hurrah. I nearly bought this in a charity shop uh, a few months back, but the B side was scratched to buggery, so I didn't bother. So, for my Chaz and Dave collection, we have the Matchroom Mob with Chaz and Dave, Snooker Loopy. B side is Wallop Snookered, which is why I wanted it for the exclusive B side. No, that looks okay. On their Rockney label. Yeah, that's definitely a. I'm glad that was in there. Uh, Jive Talking by Boogie, Boogie Box High, which, if memory serves me correctly, the singing on this is actually done by George Michael. It's his cousin or something who produced this. Uh, obviously, the cover of the Bee Gees track. And Rhythm Talking Part 1 is the B side. But that was a big hit. We have Taylor Dane, I'll Always Love You. Uh, most known obviously for Tell It To My Heart. Uh, B-side is Where Does That Boy Hang Out on Arista. 
I always get Taylor Dane and Taj as the veil muddled up. Um, but yes, Taylor Dane. Yeah, I don't think I own anything from her. But I like to tell it to my heart, so that would be worth a try. Uh, Alison Moyer's cover of Love Letters. Got a feeling I've already got this. Uh, B-side is This House. Do like Alison Moyer a lot, though. Huge talent. It's falling apart a bit. We have Gloria Estefan and Miami Sound Machine. One, two, three. I'm not a huge fan of Gloria Estefan. I don't mind so much her Miami Sound Machine stuff. It was after she had her accident and she found Jesus. That puts me off a bit. Um, B-side is Surrender. Yeah, this is a, a decent, fun dance track. Not dances in, you know, but track you can dance to. Uh, Cliff and that's a B-side. A Little In Love from 1980, backed with Keep On Looking. I mean, I've probably got this on my Cliff Richard 50 at 50 compilation, but it's not springing to mind. Uh, Kim Appleby, Light of the World, back with Don't Worry. Uh, uh, Don't Worry was previously an A-side, it was the track. So Kim Appleby was part of Mel and Kim with her sister Mel Appleby. Mel had, I think it was cancer and died. And after a short while, Kim released Don't Worry, which was sort of her tribute to Mel. And I'm guessing this was a follow-up, less successful single. And they stuck it on there to try and get some more sales uh, on Parlophone. Uh, my, my gerbils were called Mel and Kim after this Mel and Kim. Uh, riff, My Heart is Failing Me. Uh, back to Temporary Insanity. Albert Hammond co-wrote the A-side. 1991 doesn't mean anything to me it looks like it might be a bit new jack swingy we shall see uh wham freedom uh it doesn't say what the b-side is on the cover so let's have a look oh it's an instrumental of this is very dirty I might already have this. I had quite a few whams in previous purchases. Uh, we have the Bee Gees with You Should Be Dancing back with Subway. Again, another band I'm not a lover of. I struggle with their voices is a big chunk of it. Well, this is one of their better ones. It's not quite so squealy. Uh, Paul Young, Come Back and Stay, the single remix version, back with yours. Again, I might already have this. I've got, I've had a few Paul Youngs in previous purchases. Uh, Bette Midler, From a Distance, <laughs> somebody else I'm not a fan of. Uh, back with One More Round. Mum loves Bette Midler. Uh, on Atlantic. So yeah, definitely most of these sort of late 80s, early 90s, what was this, 90, yeah, 1990. Kylie, The Locomotion, back to I'll Still Be Loving You, both from the album Kylie, which I do have on CD and vinyl. But I'm happily picking up her singles as well. Obviously I'd much prefer later Kylie, post Stock Aitken and Waterman. But yeah, nice to have. Again, sleeves falling apart, and there's, there's a sticker on it that's just fallen off. Uh, we have Boomtown Rats, I Don't Like Mondays, backed with Rat Trap. It's obviously a later reissue of the two number one singles. But yeah, this is from 1994, so it's probably promoting a, a Greatest Hits or something like that. Or it was just a jukebox record. But two absolutely classic tracks that I don't already own. Might have on CD compilations, but certainly don't own specifically. Bit of a scratch on Rat Trap, we shall see. But nice to have. Uh, Adventures of Stevie V, Dirty Cash. Great, great dance tune. Late 80s. Yeah, 89. Uh, 
and B side is a different mix of it. So yeah, solid sold out mix is the A side, and Diamond Dollar mix is the B side. Yeah, really classic housey dance track. I love all the technical terms. Uh, we have Star Sound, Stars Get Ready. It's a B side. The A side. Oh, Stars on Forty Five. Of course it is. Uh, this is Stars on Forty Five Two. So this starts off with the ABBA stuff. In fact, it's, it's, it's basically it's an album. Stars on Forty Five. Not sure what Stars Get Ready will be like. It's just credited to, I think, the producers behind Stars on Forty Five. Interesting. Uh, then we have Martin Stevenson and the Dainties. Where comes a time? Means absolutely nothing to me whatsoever on London Records. Uh, Running Water is a B side. Don't recognise him, the song or anything other than the phrase London Records, basically. Uh, another old gold one, Paper Lace with Billy Don't Be a Hero, backed with The Night Chicago Died. Two well-known, decent tracks. Always get Paper Lace and Black Lace muddled up. Paper Lace are, are reasonably decent. Uh, next we have Ten Strength Derby, I'm a big fan of. This is If You Let Me Stay, so I have introduced him a hardline according to on vinyl and um, neither fish nor flesh and uh, the CD greatest hits of him but pert more pertinent to this I have uh, introducing the hard line B-side is loving you is another word for lonely which I don't think is on the album so it's nice to have that at least a lot of these have had the A-sides marked in green pen so Probably come from a DJ or somebody so I can quickly access them. Luther Vandross, I really didn't mean it. An instrumental version on the B side from the Give Me the Reason album, which is probably his biggest album. I don't own any Luther Vandross apart from the, his backing vocals for David Bowie. Uh, I don't mind him, he's not somebody I'd sort of go out my way to listen to, but be, see if I recognize that when I hear it. <laughs> Barry Manilow, Live in Britain, Stay, Back with Nickels and Dimes, Stay featuring Kevin Dizimone and James Jollis. Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow has done a few decent tracks. I'm not familiar with these, but I doubt they are some of them. Uh, I, I have this in the original picture sleeve. This is Bruce Willis, Respect Yourself, Back with Fun Time. I have all Bruce Willis's, or all the Bruce Willis singles from Return of Bruno, and I have Return of Bruno on every format. I love that album. Uh, Boney M again. This is Hooray Hooray, It's a Holly Holly Day, Back with Ribbons of Blue. A side's a track I haven't heard of for a long, long time. Uh, then we have Champagne, spelt P-A-I-G-N. Uh, How about us? Backed with Spinning on CBS. I recognise the name of the band, but I don't recognise the song. In my head, it's sort of disco-y, but we shall see. Uh, Capella, Move It Up, Big Beat. So Move It Up is the A side, the Fierce Edit and Big Beat and Move It Up are on the B side. Move It Up KM 1972 mix. I probably will recognise this when I hear it. Again, it's what is it, around about the 90s. Or 94, a bit later, but I'm, pre I'm pretty certain I will recognise it then. Uh, next we have a track, a uh, single I definitely already own a copy of from a previous set. Let's do They Know It's Christmas by Band-Aid with Feed the World on the B-side. I think the copy I had, Feed the World, had a scratch in it and it didn't play properly. But I might be misremembering. So, but if it is, it would be nice to have a working copy. Uh, we have Wavelength on Areola, Crying Over You. 
Backs by Hurry Home. Hurry, sorry, Hurry Home's the A side. I'm my way round. None of that means anything to me. Uh, nearly there for part one. This is <laughs> Millie Vanilli. And baby, don't forget my number. Backed with too much monkey business. I mean, even without all the controversy, Millie Vanilli weren't very good. In my opinion, I really never liked their songs. Um, I know Matt Hayes is a fan if he watches this. Um, John Travolta and Olivia Newton John, you're the one that I want. Backed with a loner to drive in movie, which is a sax solo by Ernie Watts. From Greece, obviously, I'm pretty certain I've already had this in a different collection. Then we have Fourth and Broadway, uh, George Kranz, Din Da Da, Trommel Tans. This is from 1983, and a dub version on the B side. Fourth and Broadway, I think it's the label. Um, no, doesn't mean anything to me. In fact, it's got a dub version. Might indicate it might be reggae, but it might not. That's it. What I thought was the next one was the CD I'm working my way through at the moment. Uh, yeah, so good, good first part. Um, let's see what's going to be in the second part, which should be up next week. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on another video. Thanks. Bye.